Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome back and hello if you are new. I'm Ellis and today I am sharing a B&M haul. Not done one of these in a long time and I picked up so many amazing cleaning bits, home decor bits, random pet bits, Easter bits. I picked up a lot of different things. So if you wanna see exactly what's new in B&M and what I picked up, just continue to watch. Okay, gonna start off with something that I needed a new one of for ages. It's not actually in the box because <laughs> I've used it. Um, <clears throat> one of these, it's the pink stuff scrubby power brush. Mine went missing when we moved out of our last house, my Sonic brush. But oh my God, have these gotten so cheap. I paid around 20 pounds for mine off Amazon about seven, eight years ago. I think I saw one in Home Bargains the other day for like five, six quid on its own. But I saw this one which was pink, which I kind of did love. And it came with two big pots of the pink stuff. That and the scrubber with obviously all of the things was 12 pounds. So I thought that was a bit of a bargain. So picked up that, did what I needed it to do. I needed to give my bathroom a very deep clean. So I got the job done. Then home decor pieces. Oh my goodness, look at this candle. It's like the candle of dreams. It is so nice, double wicked. I absolutely love it. I've been waiting for this video to put it out. It's a velvet vanilla scented candle and it does smell amazing. And it was six pounds. It was in their care culture collection, which I really liked. I thought it looked absolutely lovely and I thought it would look really lovely on my side. So I can't wait to get burning that in a minute. Then I picked up these two new glasses. I've had these ribbed glasses before, but we have smashed them. I feel like I actually needed three, so I feel like I should have picked up another. Um, but these have gone up. They were £2.50 last year, now they're £3. I mean, I know it's only an extra 50p, but annoying when you did pay less or something and the prices just keep on creeping up. Um, then I'm gonna leave the Easter bits until last. Next up, I've got a dog toy. I mean, I love having a little girl because I can get away with getting her the cuter items. I say a little girl like I've got a child, you know. A girl dog. Um, so this was Hoppy Easter, Easter Cuddle Friend. Four pounds for this. It's got a little squeaker. It's a little <laughs> lamb and she will absolutely love this. So I've been dying to give this to her. So she's gonna love that. Then I got a new notebook. I have literally, you know, used all of my notebooks. So I picked up this one, A5 book, £2.50. Just a basic notebook, but I was really running out. And then my poor middle child, bless him, really wanted a new notebook as well. So I just got him his plain blue one here for two pound just so he can write stuff my boys love writing stories and letters and all sorts and then wrapping up the cleaning stuff i got a new scrub mummy needed a new one of these really badly my other ones went around christmas time when i scrubbed and scrubbed and <laughs> scrubbed my oven so a new scrub daddy and then i always love these these are the fake minkies um these are not the bnm ones these are the adis adis ones like my mop um, cleaning pads, but they're the ones that are like this. They've got the soft side and then the harder side. These were £2.50. I think the other ones you can get for either a pound or two pound. There's three of them, but they didn't have any in. So I thought they'll do. And then Easter stuff. So they had so much Easter stuff and I did pick up some Easter bits early this year. So first up, they had loads of plates, loads of baskets and stuff like that. But I decided against those just because I've got a lot of stuff like that. But if you're in the market for stuff like that, definitely go down there. These little bunny shaped plates were adorable. They did them like yellow and blue, super cute. But I thought I would do, because I don't know about you guys, our half term is actually after Easter this year, really randomly. Like normally I'm pretty sure it falls in between or like somewhere in between or at the end, but it's not like that. Who knew? So I thought I'm gonna do the kids like a little Easter basket in the Easter basket, they can get those Easter crafts to do over the Easter holidays. Oh, I feel like that's gonna work so much better. So I bought these. There's four ceramic eggs, paint and brush, foam shapes, ribbon, wobbly eyes, and pom-pom bears. Make your own excellent characters. Get it? Um, but basically decorate your own eggs. £3.50 for four of them. So I got them. And then I got loads of Easter egg hunty bits because we always do an Easter egg hunt. I still don't have my Easter decor up. I am gonna do a spring clean and decorate with me video on Wednesday. It's Monday today. Probably gonna get this video up for you today as well. Fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, but I am gonna do a spring clean and decorate for Easter. But like I said, Easter's just kind of sprung up on me. I think with so much going on recently, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, head on over there for like daily rambles and you know, more about my life. Um, 
but I just haven't realized that Easter was literally like two weeks away and I have no Easter decor out, but I feel like it's just so early. Anyway, I digress. We will do an Easter egg hunt for the boys. So, oh, these were all dirt cheap, like a pound or so. So I got some little bunnies. Then there was like some round egg ones. And then I think these are chips, some little chips in there. And then I also got these Smarties egg hunt pack. There's eight of them, which were like that. So I thought they would be quite good. And then the box is a bit battered, but I also got these. I thought Hudson probably could have these a bit more. Um, although, <laughs> although he's so fussy and he will not believe me if I tell him that white chocolate is chocolate. He only believes brown chocolate is chocolate. So if I tell him this is chock chock, he's not gonna believe me for a second. So I'm not sure he'll actually eat these, but we move, I digress. <laughs> But that is everything I picked up from B&M. I think it came to, I don't know, I did just have the receipt and now it's gone missing. Here it is. All of that came to, oh, it came to 75 pounds. But that is also because I completely forgot. I also had in there some paint, which was 12 pound. And I also had some rollers and I also had some paint brushes, which I haven't included in the haul because that's boring stuff that I needed for the house and I've used it and you don't need to see that. But <laughs> other than that, that is everything I picked up. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this very quick Easter spring cleaning haul with some bit of home decor thrown in. I do have a Primark and home bargains haul coming up too and a cleaning video coming up. Do stay tuned, do subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you over here. I promise I'm gonna start getting a bit more consistent again with my videos. I've really been, Hudson's just started preschool in February. So now I finally feel like, now I don't have a baby again and I've got some time, I can finally start getting some consistency back to this channel, which I kind of feel like has been out of whack for about three, four years. So fingers crossed we can get there. So if you enjoy, please do subscribe. Please do stay tuned if you like things home decor, cleaning, you know, hauls and all that jazz. If you are an existing subscriber, thank you so much as always for sticking around and being with me. Your love and support I appreciate so much. Um, more than you will ever know. Um, but yeah, like I said, stay tuned. Home bargains and Primark all coming up. Loads of good bits in there actually. Also some cleaning videos and lots of other stuff. But that's all for me. I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye guys.